Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching and subscribing. This week I am going to style one pair of shorts for you in five different ways. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I style my jeans. It was a little bit of a toss up on the polos, pretty much like 55 to 45 for long jeans versus short jeans. I thought that since it's been so scorching in Toronto at least, that jean shorts might be a little bit more appropriate to style for you right now but I will definitely style longer jeans very soon. So the jeans that I've decided to style for you are my vintage Levi's cutoffs. I got this from a vintage store in Halifax called Make New. I had originally bought them thinking that they were like way too big, but I haven't found a pair of vintage shorts that I liked in a very long time. So I just grabbed them and I honestly have had them for, I think I've had these for three, four years now and I am absolutely in love with them. They're super, super light wash and they just are so comfy. They're the perfect amount of loose. They do have a zipper fly, which is a little bit different than my other jeans. It has the classic Levi's butt pocket. Right now I have styled it in the most classic way that you'll probably ever find me wearing on an everyday basis. The, this is a plain gray tee. It's actually from Modern Essentials. It's one of my new favorite t-shirt brands. I've worn it with a little bit of it cuffed. Added this black leather belt with gold hardware, which goes with all my jewelry. Layered a couple of necklaces on the teeth. And this is like my go-to everyday cutoff short look. So with this look, I'd actually pair it with these fun suede common project booties. I just really like how they're like such a unisex style of boot and with like a t-shirt and cutoff jeans. I really get to play with my tomboy, more masculine style. So yeah, because they are a lighter shade of camel, they still work in the summer and doesn't look too harsh. So yeah, that's look one. So the second look I thought I'd show you is a perfect look for, I guess, a daytime lunch date. This is a beautiful, silky, almost camisole-like top, but it has these drop sleeves. I tucked it in and kept the black belt with the gold hardware because it ties nicely with the top. I think I would wear this look to a fancier event too. With this silk top, I actually would pair black heeled booties with it because it is a look that I probably would wear at night or to something a little bit more fun than a normal day out with flats. I love wearing boots with shorts. That's one of the reasons why I love summer and one of the reasons why I spend so much on boots because I wear it all year long. Okay, for my next look, I paired a long sleeve button down with these shorts. I've been really into button downs lately because I think I'm still really into the casual denim look, but having a blouse on top elevates any look a little bit more than just a plain t-shirt. So this linen one that I picked up from the Zara haul last time still obsessed with this embroidery and the fact that it has this open lapel on the top it just really allows me to wear my gold jewelry put on that cuff because one roll already makes it bracelet length but yeah i would wear this on a cooler summer day because even though it's linen it's a long sleeve and i would probably just wear this on like a shopping day or even just like a regular work day. So I would actually pair my Jenny Kane suede loafers with this look because it's very simple. Nothing has too much pattern except for the embroidery here and the black round toe plain suede just polishes the look off perfectly. This is definitely one of my favorite looks, pairing vintage with vintage. This I got from Vintage Twin Online. I was obsessed with shopping their site when they first launched, but I just realized there are also equally as great vintage stores in Canada, in Toronto. This is like the best Harley T find I've been able to see in a while. I still haven't found another one to add to my collection. I like the really, really classic logo. And then the back is pretty cool too. It doesn't have like anything too crazy because some of the Harley T's can look a little bit too weird for me. I love rolling these sleeves like halfway up. So it's almost like a mini tank and or like a little muscle tee. Brought back the black belt to keep these shorts a little bit more high-waisted than how they sit normally. And then the fringe, the really washed out light denim with the washed out black tee is one of my favorite combos. So with this look, I choose my favorite set of boots. I haven't found a pair of black boots with gold hardware yet. That is next on my list. 
but these are like off gray by now because I've worn them so much so it really doesn't matter if I like mix metals of all the gold tones up here with the hardware down on my feet because there is like a good distance between as well. I just like how it matches my Harley hot with like the cool tough biker chick look even though I am not that cool but that's okay i can pretend to be so yeah these boots are how i would pair this vintage top with these vintage shorts all right so this is the last outfit it would definitely go with like a colder night out because i am wearing an oversized blazer so this is more like a nighttime look or a super cool weekend morning <laughs> i am wearing one of my favorite striped shirts i love stripes with denim really gives me that nautical cottage feel. Kept the black belt to go with this black oversized blazer. So I chose an oversized blazer that hits under the shorts because I love that like super oversized look and the belt and the lighter top helps proportion everything else out. And because I said it would probably be like a nighttime look, I chose heeled beauties, but I chose like a nude color to kind of tie in the lighter shades with this larger dark piece and yeah these are my trusty isabel Marat suede boots that i do only pull out every so often because i don't want to ruin them because they're such a good find anyways that's it for this video i hope that you liked this very quick styling tutorial i have been getting a lot of messages from you guys with these kind of requests so let me know if you enjoyed how i did this one or if you'd like to see something different next time and as always don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you all next time.